Hi everybody, we're gonna do some styling today. So we're gonna look at this. This is a new piece for Spring Summer 23. Very excited for it to be in. Um, this is a Model 12 sport coat made in Xenia cloth. Um, this particular type of Xenia cloth is actually called the cross ply. So it's a wool linen silk mix and it's got a beautiful twill to it. It's a really unusual color. It's like sea foam, but really like tending towards um, navy. Well, sorry, towards blue. And I want to mention that because that is thematically the sort of colors that we are going to put with it today. Okay. Uh, so let's start with, let's do something dressy. Let's do something dressy first. Got some blue trousers here. Like, you see how nicely these two things sit together? I'm going to show you guys a couple examples of things that don't work as well. See, with, with this color, you know, it's kind of a delicate color and it doesn't work that well if you have low contrast. It's better to have high contrast with it. So like with these very saturated, almost like an over dyed blue sort of color, it looks really, really nice against this seafoam color. And I'm gonna show it to you with a white linen shirt. And for a necktie, I love this. I think this is really cool. A little bit of blue, just a touch of green in there. That's really cool. Uh, I think you could also do a gold like this. Like I do like that as a combination as well. Uh -oh. Nobody saw that trouser fall on the floor. Okay, so there we go. That is some an idea of like how you can put it together in a dressy way. Um, if you're going to stay in that dressy realm, it is that blue is actually substitutable with gray wool trousers as well. I think that's also a very nice way to put it together. You know, you lose a little bit of the punchiness, but um, actually, it's probably more likely that people have gray wool trousers than blue wool trousers. So that's that together. And you know what? Same thing with the, with the ties, right? Blue is particularly nice with the gray. I think that's really interesting. Now. What if we want to wear it in a more casual way? Well, um, with casual stuff, cream is always good. So this is the Armory Sport Chino. This is the natural colored cotton in a cream tone. I love that together. And if I was to do that, I would probably put a navy polo with that as well. Because like I said, this color looks best with more blue, you know, I think that pops in just the right way. In terms of shoes for this, uh, I think just adding a little bit of brown suede down there helps a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, in terms of colors that I wouldn't necessarily put with this, because I think also it's good to see sometimes things that look a bit odd. Uh, I really don't like it with this. I normally love olive. But as you can see, when you put this olive with this green, it really doesn't look quite right. You know, this olive has quite a lot of yellow to it and it just sits really uncomfortably with this particular shade of sea foam. Also, I am not crazy about mid grays for tops. I find this whole thing very strange. These two go together okay, but this is really begging for like a navy coat, whereas like against the sea foam, it's a bit strange. Um, just to wrap up, I wanted to show a f I wanted to show a few little interesting details on this on this jacket actually. Um, first is this is the first season that we have made our own lining. So we actually did this lining way back in the day um, for the tenth anniversary of the armory. So it's got a little armory line on the lining, and I know this is really minor, but for me, I'm like kind of proud of it. I think it's cool. Um, you know, we finally got to a size where we can have our own linings, and so it's armory line and then a little ring. In, as a as, uh, representation of our friends at Ring Jacket who made the jacket for us. Uh, other neat stuff, this is a Model 12 and I should have mentioned this earlier. The whole point of the Model 12 is it's kind of casual, it's kind of sporty, it's got a lot of machine stitch details. So stuff like the machine stitch on the lapels, on the pockets. The pockets are also a really interesting shape. So they're wider than they are tall and kind of tulip shaped, which I really, really like. And on the Model 12, it's a one piece back. So there's no seam down the center of the back. All right? 
So I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly am enjoying working with this jacket. I think it's really interesting. Um, if you have any other ideas or styling, please, we'd love to hear about it. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.